So just so you know, even though I preach about online business, entrepreneurship and all that stuff, I'm not one of those people that are like, I dropped out of school because I was very, I was a bad student and the, the teachers hated me and all that stuff. I'm not that type of person, just so you know. For me, actually, back in the day, I was actually very good at school. But I wanted to tell you this just because I remember back when I was like still doing my exams and my tests and all that stuff. Sometimes I had a friend. Well, not sometimes, but like I always had a friend, right? But sometimes what happens is that this friend, he used to always get higher marks than me. And I would study a lot. Like when I say I used to study a lot before university, like I actually mean that I used to study a lot. But then this guy, I don't know. I don't know how, bro. If you're watching this, he, I'm pretty sure you know who you are. But like he would get way better marks than me. And then I would look at the way he's studying. He's not even studying. So I would go back home and my dad would see my marks back in high school. He would see my marks and I would say, yeah, so-and-so, I'm not going to say his name, but like so-and-so got this mark and then I got this mark. And then my dad is like, well, it's because he's studying harder than you. He's studying harder and you're not even studying that hard. My dad would say that. And I would just think I'm like, but it's so interesting because my, like, my friend is not studying harder than me. And I know that. I truly know this guy is not studying harder than me. What he would do is that most of the time he would just be sitting at home playing chess and that's it. Like I play chess too, I, I beat him at times. But then I'm like, it makes no sense. How is he getting better marks than me and I'm studying way harder than him? I love the guy, by the way. But it always made me think, I'm like, how is that possible? And so when I got into business and I started doing more of like dropshipping and like YouTube and digital products and all that stuff, I realized I'm like, I started working more on my mindset, right? Because entrepreneurship, most of the time, 80% of it is just mindset work. So I would work on my mindset and I would just realize I'm like, it's like the best mindset to have is to know that whatever mindset you have in the world, it's always correct. It's always correct. So if you think that so-and-so gets better marks than you, even though they don't study as much as you and you're studying a lot and they're not studying as much, they're getting better marks, it's always going to be remaining that way. So what I'm trying to say is that even like in business, the amount of effort that you put into your business does not really, is not equivalent to the like the the results that you get. So if I'm putting a bunch of effort, it doesn't mean that I'll be getting a bunch of results back, just so you know, which is so funny because I don't know how it works that way, bro. But I would do at times almost like no work, like no effort, and then I would be getting such good results in business. And I started doing that after two in university. So in university, when I started meeting people, they would be like, bro, how are you like, how are you getting such better marks than us? Because I was very good at chemistry, by the way. I'd get like straight A's in chemistry. They'd be like, how are you so good at chemistry? And we're studying so much harder than you and you're doing nothing. Like we, we see what you're doing. You're just playing chess. Just like my friend. He actually taught me that. He taught me that. Dang, there's a cart that's hunking. He, told, he literally taught me that the amount of effort that you put into something does not really equate the amount of results that you give back. And I think that's what we mean when we say the law of least effort. The law of least effort. Because for him, what he used to do, I mean, I would think this is what he used to do, but what he used to do is just be like, he has the intention of getting straight 90s every single subject. Like in every single class, he wants to get straight 90s. And then he just has that intention. And that's it. Then he would just go and do whatever stuff. Like... He would still, he would still do the homework. He would still work hard and all that stuff, but he wouldn't put a bunch of effort into it. He would only put the specific amount of effort that you need in order to achieve such results. Think of it. Like when you're working out, right? If you do a bunch of workouts, you're spending like four hours a day in the gym with no steroids, natural, four hours a day in the gym. Do you really think you're going to start getting bigger? That's impossible. You're not going to be getting bigger, bro. That's overtraining. So same thing with here. It's literally the same thing. So there's like a certain threshold of effort that you have to be putting. And then if you exceed that effort, then it's almost like things are going to start going down. And it's so hard to explain to you what that threshold is. The only thing that I can tell you is that that threshold exists. But the only thing that you need to be doing is that just get the intention. Like just literally have the intention and do things. Do things. But don't worry, don't worry about the threshold. Just do things. Because when the intention is there, automatically they say in the book Reality Transurfing, they say outer intention is gonna know when to make you stop. Outer intention is gonna know when to basically it's gonna do things, it's gonna basically mold your world. Outer intention is Allah. It's God, it's the creator, it's the one that's running the universe. So this is the law of least effort. Don't be thinking that the more effort you put the better results you get. And it's very funny because 
when you think this way, because I told you the world only responds to the beliefs that you have. So if you believe that you have to be putting a bunch of effort in order to achieve something, then that's exactly how life is going to be like for you. You'll be living your whole life struggling in every single thing that you get into, simple things that you get into. Ordering coffee, for example, you, you'll you order coffee and then you'll struggle in it because you have a certain belief in your mind that in order for me to achieve things, I have to struggle a little bit. Otherwise, the thing that I achieved is not worthy. And it's so sad because I'm saying that because my parents, like my father and my mother, they both have that. And it doesn't mean that it's something like horrible. It's just you have to understand, by the way, your parents too. I can 100% guarantee you that your parents had the same mentality. I can guarantee you that. The older people, I don't know why they have that certain mentality. And it's not it's not something bad. It's just something they have to just be aware of. And then once you're aware of this thing, you'll know that, oh, so this is where it came from. So as a result, I don't need to have that. You do know in the Quran, Allah always talks about how there's people that say, our forefathers used to do such a thing. And it's so sad because we ourselves are doing the exact same thing. Don't be thinking that the words of Allah are like only applicable in the past. It's applicable now too. Our forefathers used to do such and such, and that's why we are doing such and such. Do you know what I mean? We're not saying that explicitly. But this is exactly what's happening. Our forefathers, our parents, have certain beliefs, and as a result, we're getting those same beliefs. Who told you that those beliefs are right? You don't have to be struggling to get whatever thing you want. Who told you those beliefs are right? I mean, bro, like, this is such a crazy realization. One of them is that everything in the Quran is applicable to today's time. The second one is that all the beliefs I have, where the heck did they come from? And is it really benefiting me? You do realize, bro, if you have a belief that's like false, but it benefits you a lot, that's a way better belief to have than a belief that's true, but it would basically like not benefit you. What I'm trying to say also is that those beliefs that you have of you having to struggle every single time, those beliefs are false. They're not true beliefs. You don't have to struggle every single time in order to get straight A's or get a bunch of money and all that stuff. You can just do things like do this and you can get money. If you believe that you can do this and then get money. It's actually crazy. Whatever you believe firmly, and I'm saying firmly, like you 100% believe that tomorrow, whether you're alive or not, that the sun is going to come up. You 100% believe that the people that raised you are your parents, unless you're adopted. Like adopted. And I don't know if those are your parents, but who cares? But you believe that. You have a, like a firm belief that those people are your parents and that the sun is going to come out. So why don't you believe also that everything for you comes easy? Everything for you comes easy. Nowadays, I'm actually trying to like, I'm trying to strongly believe that this is how life truly is. Because I remember back in the day, like I told you the whole story, I, I didn't believe such things. I would believe that I would have to struggle and struggle and study and do all that stuff. Then I'll get the straight A's. But then I would see him like, how is that little chode right there, my friend? He's getting straight A's and he's doing nothing. None of the things that I'm doing. It's just because of the belief. That guy believed that he was smart. He believed that anything he would touch would turn into gold. He believed that he's the type of person that easily gets straight A's. So you must believe that you're the type of person that easily makes money. 10K a month, easily. You're the type of person that would not be satisfied with 5K a month because it's just too little. It's just too little for you. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Once you have those beliefs, automatically the outer world is going to change. Some guy was asking me, he's like, can you please make a video on the ayah that says, I will not change the state of a nation until they change what's within themselves. This is exactly what I'm saying. Until you change what's within yourself, which is those beliefs that you have, nothing in the outer world is going to change. So when you start, like, it's almost like your, your whole, your subconscious, your mind, all of this stuff is like a garden and it's filled with weeds. And as soon as you take those weeds out, the garden blemishes or blooms. Whatever the word is, the, the garden becomes better. Whatever the word is. So the belief that you must have is that everything's easy. Because in reality, this is the truth. Think of it. This is literally the truth. How does nature do things? Nature does things in the least amount of effort or energy used in the easiest way possible. Go outside. Go in the forest. Look at how nature truly is. Look at how the rivers form. Look at how things form. Look at how mountains are created, how the how the rain gets sent down. Look at all these things. Because remember, those things and you are not separate. 
we're all the same. Everything is connected. So then when you look at those things and you realize that this is the reality right there. This is literally, literally, literally the reality. So then if, these, if this is the reality, that everything becomes, everything is like created in the least amount of effort used. This is the same way with me. Results come with the least amount of effort used from me. You must have such a belief because this is the reality. This is the truth. And where does this reality come from? It comes from La ilaha illallah. There is nothing that's worthy of your attention except Allah. The only thing that exists is just Allah. So if you have such a belief that everything is like this is the root belief. So then everything that comes out of it is automatically supposed to be like filled with the truth. And the truth is that everything is easy. Why? Because Allah is al wasi Allah is al basit Allah is the one that basically makes things easy. The, the, the one that expands everything that Allah, is, Allah brings you is easy. There's nothing that Allah brings you that's hard for Him. And if it's not hard for Him, if everything's easy for Him, who cares about you, bro? <laughs> Literally, who cares about you? Just make the dua. And Allah's the one that's bringing it to you, not you. You realize all those people, man, all those people that have a bunch of money and have all this stuff, Allah's the one that's giving them these things. But whether you're a Muslim or non-Muslim, you have to follow the laws that Allah has put. And it's funny because non-Muslims, they follow these laws. They know that, oh, everything is easy. They don't know that Allah is the one that's making it easy, which is funny because you're the one that's supposed to know that Allah is the one that's making it easy. So as a result, have that belief. But they know that everything is easy. The ones that are rich. So then when you start having such a belief with a deep root, which is la ilaha illallah, you'll know everything comes just easy. And this is what it means. I will not change a state of a nation until they change what's within themselves. So then if you change what's within yourself right now, everything on the outside is going to change. It's all just a mirror, bro. So instead of changing the mirror, don't be changing the mirror. Don't be changing things on the outside. That makes no sense. Like if I'm smiling at a mirror and I don't want the mirror to be smiling back at me, I'm not going to break the mirror because I'm like trying to change the mirror. I'm going to change what's within me, which is stop smiling. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? This is the reality, bro. This is truly the reality. <laughs> oh, but by the way, bro, I noticed that the whole video, I was sitting down like this, and this thing looks taller than me. It's just because I'm like, I'm actually, I'm like, I was truly like leaning down. I'm not the short, just so you know. <laughs>